we are getting ourselves set up to spray on this rather dreary and rainy I was gonna say Monday no Tuesday morning and uh, it looks like I should have ordered some more uh, to me a thinner acrylic thinner when I placed my order for the glue um, yeah it, it probably wouldn't have added anything to the postage and uh, well I probably got enough there to last me a, a little while but that's all that's left anyway Now when I started preparing my my palette here I had thought that I was going to be fi fixing more uh, photo etch pieces onto the upturned masking tape and uh, then I realized that the little pieces that that I might be able to do I'll very carefully here Ron don't go getting like a bull in a china shop This so little place that I can pick this up. Okay. Okay, I think it'd be easier to spray this. Yeah, I think it'd be a lot easier for me to spray this if I just hold it in my hand and then spray it like this. Anyway, like I started to say, uh, yeah, I thought I was going to be using this thing here and then I realized that most of the pieces I'm going to be wanting to put on the rotator. Now, a larger piece like this, I probably won't have the rotator turning, but it will be kind of handy to turn it a quarter turn and spray and, well, you'll see because that's what we're going to do. Whereas smaller pieces like this and, and even this one here, I believe, will probably turn will probably work out on the rotator uh, while it's running. Uh, what happened here now? I guess I must have knocked that over when I put it down. All right, all is well that ends well, I guess. Okay, let's uh, get ourselves set up here a little better. Now I make no promises as to how things are going to go here today. I just checked and this one here is, there's not enough in it. This is my diluted down number 22 and I'll be using this, the 22, on most of the larger pieces. I'm not sure about this one here. I'll have to go and check the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the other ones and see what, what we did. I, I don't know if that was the 22 or if this was the lighter gray. I want them to all be the same. Uh, we did do, uh, I think, two or three of these already. If you remember, I think a couple of them we had to we had to put little photo etch pieces to represent this little part that's sticking up. Um, and then I think there was a couple that didn't. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. So I'm going to probably have to thin this out. Now, yeah, I don't know how things are going to go. I do want to go get a haircut yet today. I was going to do it yesterday, and the barber was closed. Anyway, uh, you don't need to hear about that. So, uh, this video could be a little shorter. Well, very soon after I shot that last scene, I phoned up the barber shop, make sure they're open. Oh, by the way, it, I made it sound like I drove out to the barber shop yesterday and found that they were closed. I, I did actually check. I didn't run out there for nothing yesterday. Anyway, they were open. So, as you can see, I've got my badly needed haircut. At least I thought it was. Uh, yeah, there's uh, no no hair on the back there for my man bun. And there sure was before. Now, on the way home, I thought, uh, well, first of all, before I left, I thought, you know what, when I come home, I'm going to uh, see why it is that I... I can't see the model table from the outside. 
So I left the overhead lights on here. And I thought, we'll try this one more time because it really irked me that I that the, the neighbors, when they walk past the street, they see me and I, I can see them and I'll wave to them. Uh, but the camera couldn't see, the, couldn't see in here. Well, anyway, you can sort of see it a little better now as you're going to see. Now it seems like we've been in this lockdown for all winter long. Now, of course, it, it wasn't all winter long. I think the barber shops have been open for a couple of weeks already, but I, I didn't want to go out until after the snow melted, <laughs> and yesterday it did a lot of melting. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I asked the barber, what did you do uh, during the lockdown? And uh, she says, well, we closed down and stayed home. Now, this is a, sort of a mom-and-pop family-run business, not a big barber shop or not, not a chain of any kind. It's just... Uh, just a family-run business and uh, so I said did you get any government assistance and she says yes we did and she indicated it was enough to pay the rent and so on so that was good anyway don't know why I'm telling you that I'm just telling you yeah <laughs> let's get on with this Okay, we got air pressure there. Now, I did check, and the other ones of these that are already mounted on the ship were done in the number 66, and so were some of the ladders. So we'll, we won't be doing the, those uh, right now. And um, now, as far as the ladders go, I, I do believe that some of them were also done in, was it the 77, the really dark gray? But the most important thing is that they are not photo etch. Uh, I know one of the viewers was talking about, aren't you going to make sure that all your ladders match? Well, may maybe uh, some of them may not, but I don't think we're going to be able to notice that because most of the ladders, well, not all of them, but, but a lot of them, they're sort of out of sight, and all, all you see is just this, this top little part here. Anyway... All right, everything else here now, I believe, is safe to paint with the with the uh, 22, and I've just shaken this up in the shaker. And I, oh, by the way, I did thin it out. Uh, it's probably I'm going to guess it was thinned out. I didn't measure it. Now I'm just sort of eyeballed it. I think it's probably about 40% thinner, 60% paint. So it's it's well thinned, and I may find that I'll have to uh, do a second coat. We're just going to have to see how it goes here. I'm probably going to let the camera run real time, and uh, if you don't want to watch this, well, you know how to fast forward. Anyway, let's uh, let's get going here. I don't know why it is I don't like painting.
I guess I better do a paint change here. I think I forgot to push record a couple of times, but I think we got the most of it. Um, I noticed on this one here, and I just noticed that right now, I got a little splatter on the on the roof there, but the the side looks okay. Now this this roof here is going to be covered anyway. I've already checked the head on the uh, in the manual uh... because i was wondering you know what color i had to paint it before and i realized i don't have to worry about it in all likelihood i don't need to worry about the top of this one but we'll know as we as we go i, I think for the most part it came out pretty good uh... we'll put them on the rotator tomorrow and have a, a really good look at them uh, uh... i'll put my airbrush together later i've got every all the parts soaking and everything now so i don't need to worry about having a problem and I've got to get today's video done, so uh, uh, yeah, we'll look at this tomorrow, nice and close. So thanks for watching, and all being well, we will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.